Hi, this is Al. I'm just uh, making a video for an update. Uh, since I got all my solar panels hooked up, except for the uh, uh, 400 watts of hardwood freight panels, I still need to hook up. But uh, all all of the DuPont panels, the two kilowatts, are hooked up. And uh, it's finally sunny. It's late afternoon, but it is sunny, uh, and uh, I got a little bit of time to uh, show you some readings here. So right now we're uh, putting out about 27.6 volts at 37 amps or so. Uh, what I wanted to do was find a means of selling the power automatically without me having to go come over here and turning that switch to grid tie and then have to come over every once in a while and watch my voltage uh, you know to make sure that I didn't uh, over discharge my batteries my batteries because I like to keep my batteries on full charge so what I did is I purchased a 200 amp uh, battery isolator 24, 12 to 24 volt and I essentially connected the output here to here and that's that wire that you see here that you see here that in turn when this relay becomes energized closes that set of normally open contacts and sends the power to all four of the grid tie inverters up there as you can see right now they're working uh, and they're working well uh, and what controls this relay is actually this charge controller that I had laying around for a long time as you can see, this is a Coleman Air C80. Uh, they sell kits where they will sell you just the PCB board uh, with a relay, and all you really need is that PCB board. Uh, but I already had this whole thing, so I just figured I'd use it to automate <coughs> my circuit and uh, just uh, modify it a little bit. So right now, because it's at 27.6, I've adjusted the rheostat or the potentiometer, which you can see way down in there that little blue uh, square and you adjust that with a screwdriver to uh, get the um, set point for the charge controller to be at the voltage that, that you want in my case I set it up so that it would start discharging when it got to 27.6 volts which is what I set my uh, charge controller uh, for my float voltage meaning that hey, it's already full I want to maintain that kind of a charge so <coughs> what it does, it's sensing from through this wire here the voltage from my 24 volt battery bank. When it gets to 27.6 volts, it will close a set of contacts, which is this one and this one here. Um, and it will send the power to the coil here and back there to close the coil will activate the coil and close the contacts uh, for the power and thus my uh, grid time inverters come online so when the battery voltage falls below the set point that I said which in this case is uh, 27.6 volts uh, then this will stop discharging and it will then the batteries will charge at 27.6 volts and that cycle will start again so this is uh, a 200 amp uh, as you can see, it is a 200 amp uh, relay um, battery isolator and it's uh, ready for continuous duty. Um, and obviously, it, it's made to do what exactly I'm doing here. Uh, what is uh, very easy to do is when you get, if you get um, something like this, or if you want to get something like this and modify your system so it automatically maintains your batteries at full charge and it doesn't discharge, you, meaning that you're not sulfating your plates and should something happen you always have a full charge is to really use a battery monitor and uh, a system like this which is really meant to be a charge controller for wind turbines uh, so that uh, when you adjust the voltage you can define uh, what voltage uh, that you send the extra power to the diversion load so you don't overcharge the batteries with these charge controllers what happens when the battery is fully uh, when they're full they just stop sending power to it, so the, the power that you're getting from the, uh, from the uh, sun, it just goes wasted unless you put it somewhere else. You can see right now, uh, you know, they're at 27.6 volts still, so they got a ways to go. And as far as power goes, uh, I'm selling right now, I don't know, about 770 watts, uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. 
uh, earlier when I was uh, doing the preliminary testing I was selling uh, 1.5 almost 1.6 kilowatts so <coughs> the system adjusts itself pretty well uh, to what's coming in as you can see right now the power or the panels are bringing in about a kilowatt of power uh, as a battery voltage drops to the nominal set point that I set it for uh, and you can see that here then you will see that uh, that this thing will shut off automatically. I don't know if we'll be able to catch it, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set up uh, my meter and turn a power reading while. Sorry about that, because I don't have a a tripod set up here. So I'm going to monitor my battery voltage. You can see uh, my battery voltage is 27.3. So, uh, and I'm getting that off of the sensing uh, uh, cables that are coming from this uh, wire that goes out to the battery. So, as long as this thing stays above 26.6, those grid tie inverters will continue to work. When it gets to 26.6, uh, that will automatically shut off and the whole cycle starts. And you can actually test this system to make sure once in a while that things are going well. If you have, you know, some some uh, shade or, or a few days that you don't get a whole lot of sun you can always push that test button here and test to make sure that the output works and the relay here energizes and then you in fact are getting power so uh, anyways I just thought I would share that with you all uh, it does take a little bit of rewiring in their system uh, uh, I ended up having to play with it I'm looking at their diagram so what I did is you'll see that there's two blue wires going to the second from the left uh, connection and uh, the two wires going to the coil here to energize the positive and negative come from the from this uh, the second from the left which is the positive and the third one from the left which is the negative so you connect those two there and then connect them to the relay here boom you got power and then to disconnect the relays around the back you really don't need any other wires I just disconnected these two blo these two blue wires because I could hear the relays in the back energizing and clicking uh, once I took that off it worked fine so uh, once I'm, I get done here, I'm going to take those two blue wires and the two yellow wires and then the PCB board will take care of it uh, from then on and I, uh, uh, I'll, I'll be totally automated at that point. So all I have to do next is I'll wire all my outlets and bring the uh, 240 volts from outside into here and start uh, really load balancing between the two faces uh, where I want to put the power to. Uh, so anyways, that's it. I uh, hope everybody... Uh, is doing well and enjoying the new year. God bless everybody. Take care.